Well, would you look where we've returned to, guys. Good to see you again. We are going back into the Divide because of something Ulysses said to me when we parted ways, which was that if we became separated, which we did, he would be hanging out on the cliffs near the Hopesville silo. So I reckon he's going to be right up there, up that tunnel, and he's not. Okay. An even easier to find place than up there. I don't know. I think up there has a better vantage point, dude. You might want to crawl up this thing. You know, like a child at a playground crawling up a slide. Actually, never mind. It's hard to imagine Ulysses doing such a thing. So, hello. Hello. What are we doing here? Oh, he's noticed me. Hi. Hello. Yep. Looks pretty broken up down there. How are you holding out, buddy? Full circle. Walked your road. Now back again. Something else in you needing an answer. Well, there were quite a few things I could have talked to you about during the final showdown. But I was so worried about, you know, what was going to happen with the actual bombs and everything that I kind of skipped past some of your dialogue. So if you would be so kind... As to tell me a few things, I think that would really just make me feel settled on the issue. So let's start with a question I was already asking myself. What are you doing here? A question one could have asked you not long ago, before walking the road west into the storms. Need to be here, see what was done. It's custom of the bear to never see the marks it claws in the land. Not my custom. Maybe that's why you've come to need to see where the missile from Ashton touched ground down below in Hopeville. The Courier's Mile. Well, we've already been there. But can you tell me what the Courier's Mile is to you? My name for it. If you have a better one, you grant it. My choice in names won't carry past you and I. Lies along the road, running from the Hopeville silo, straight onto where the ground burns and wind howls even stronger than here. And what of the marked men? That's part of why I'm here. Watch them. If they attack me, Try to enter the Mojave. I answer, not looking to kill them. Save them, if I can. How? There might be something saving in them. If not, then what I do is mercy, not murder. Well, yeah, they're clearly just suffering. The best you could do to save them is probably to put them out of their misery. So it's like mega irradiated here. Are you sure you want to stay? I mean, you do have that nifty breathing mask and everything, but is that really going to be enough? The invisible fires burn here. True enough. Still, to have helped carry out such an act, then not face it. Not to my way. If my life burns out here, so be it. Until then, I wait and watch. See what the road brings. So you do admit that the courier's mail is partly your fault, which is interesting because it's the courier's mile but it should be the courier's mile like the apostrophe should be moved to make it plural because it's both of us at least i think so something else in you needing an answer yes is this where you're making camp not a camp vigil maybe never claimed it as mine if anyone owns the divide your claim is stronger than mine. You can have it. Don't feel like adding a campfire to the ones that already burn below. If you brought Mojave gifts, might be able to shape something for the road. Dude, can you make something? Depends what history has to say about them. There's a lot the land can provide. If you know the road that led to it. Mojave's got ways of healing most ills. If not, some tribes are usually found a way you didn't expect. 
Like healing powders. Tribes back west only use Xander and rock flower. There's a way the twin mothers in the east used to brew it, though. Ooh. Called it bitter drink. Mixed up the Xander and Brock in a bottle. Added some kick to it so your head doesn't get all clouded. And what's the history of that? History. Cures a wound. Leaves the bitterness that caused it. The twin mothers were always about lessons. Kaisar taught them the last one, though. So that's it for them. Recipe still exists. Legion uses it on forced marches with wounded soldiers. Wouldn't have made it through Crimson River Trail a few years back without it. Losing so much blood early on was a Casador feast. Oh, those are Enough mean. Xander root and Brock flower along the trail, though. The Legion was able to keep pace and get where they were going. Can you teach me? Can do that, and one better. Just enough around to mix some. Here. Might make the twin mother's history live a little longer. You carrying it. When you drink it, down it all in one shot. Or your stomach's not going to want to keep going after the second to drink. That sounds unpleasant, but thank you for the recipe. What could you help me shape? Let's make something new from the old. Oh. Okay. So, he's basically a campfire? That's... That's unique. I like how he can clone things. That's pretty funny. I mean, I get it, right? Anything we can make, we can make with him. Uh-huh. I do still want to make some gecko armor one day. But that day is not going to be today. What is the tunneler stuff for? I have their hides. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Hey. Something else in you needing an answer. Yes, sir. Is there anything else you can teach me? Nothing more than I've already shared. We'll have to keep with what we know. Tired of history's lessons anyway. Really? You didn't seem like the type who would get tired of it. Questions have a habit of making others. I guess they do. When you put it that way. Have you been to Hopeville since the missile hit, you know, down in the Courier's Mile? Walk there sometimes. Keep the walks short. Still, it's important to see. Something else to answer for. Occasionally sift through the dust, the buildings. See if I can find some history. Marks of America. If you want them, keep them. You've earned it. Nothing to be gained by me holding them. And more will surface in time. So you're going to give me things you find? Wow. Oh, cool. Thanks, buddy. Oh, look at all that nice stuff he found. I guess I can ask him again, but he's going to say no, we need more time to look. But I wonder how he's going to word that. Nothing but wind, sand, ash. More may reveal itself in time. Not now. That's a very... If you're determined, oh. return. Might be something new surfaces. <laughs> the very Ulysses way to say things. Okay. I want to hear more about Hoover Dam. Old world wall. Run red with blood of bear and bull. It'll bleed more before the sun sets on the Mojave. That place and I have a past. Owe it a debt, and it owes me. If your path takes you there, know you're not the only one. Wait. It's the wall by which this age will be measured. The gravestone of the Mojave. Old world never meant it as such. He says that I'm not going to be the only one. Does that mean he'll be there? But what's he going to be doing there? Just watching? You know, witnessing 
the history of it all or something because I can't imagine that he would participate in any capacity. Hmm. And it's kind of interesting because he says like before the sun sets over the Mojave, that's going to be like the end. Right? That's super super just cool. <laughs> you know, it's like foreshadowing, like majorly. It's, it's really neat. I got your final message, Ulysses. Didn't think I'd be breathing to hear you say that. Message isn't important. Meaning is. Had to speak of it in case the words got lost in paper, ink, or others' voices. Maybe even yours in time. Still meant for you. Courier to courier. Belongs to you now. Or history doesn't matter. Well, if the meaning matters and not the message, the message carries the meaning, so it matters as a way to convey a message. I'm gonna go back to the Mojave to settle things. I, I, I kind of want him to come with me, but that's not happening, is it? Can hear the weight in your feet. You're bound for that old world wall. Hoover Dam. Maybe not now. In time. Soon. Bear and bull shed too much blood there to let it go. Can't stop you from going. Wouldn't. A warning, though. The legate Lenius, whether Kaisar stands or not, Lenius will come. Uh huh. So this is the guy that's merciless, but was shown mercy and then became an absolutely rabid dog. Of Caesar, basically. Lenius. Butcher. Monster. Terror of the East. Not even his slaves have seen his face. Struck them blind so they can't. Wears a mask. Don't even know if it's the same man. He put Colorado to the sword. Broke the hangdogs by throwing their hounds upon the flames. So they might burn forever in the afterlife. Yeah, I heard about that from Anthony, the Houndmaster guy. Is he coming west? To take Hoover Dam. Legion will need something as big as the old world itself. Another symbol forged by history. Aeneas carries all the terrors of the East with him. He's the myth. The weapon the Legion needs. When he arrives, he'll fall on Hoover Dam like a hammer. Break the bear in two. Not if I have anything to say about it. Yeah, if he crosses me, I'll break him. I do kind of want to know about his weaknesses, though. But maybe I can still get that information by saying this? Nineteen tribes could not do it. All the lights in Vegas cannot. His strength lies in his title, and it is his weakness. He will not fight a losing battle and destroy what he represents. Put the idea of loss in him. Convince him the bear will not be the 20th tribe beneath his heel. It will make him pause like nothing on earth. You do not need to convince him alone. Draw upon history. The past of other legates are not filled with victories. Remind Linnaeus of this. So we just gotta plant some doubt in him. What about the other legates? There are other legates. And the one before Linnaeus couldn't take Hoover Dam for Gosh, Kaiser. Right. That legate's mistake is he didn't die trying. His name was Joshua. Joshua Graham. Answered for his failure. Twice, some say. Kaiser had him burned and cast into the earth into the largest canyon you've ever seen. Watched the flames trail all the way to the bottom. Somehow, Joshua walked away from that, went beyond Kaisar's gaze. His footsteps trailing fire, walking from one hell, maybe to another. When one is ruined like Graham was, sometimes home is the only place left. If so, he went to New Canaan, Kaiser's anger written on him like a book. 
Kaisar's orders to the Frumentari were to watch for him, find Graham, kill him. Didn't try. Could've. No good would have come of it. Graham earned his life and his nature. It'll kill him more surely than any blade of the Legion. So, if you've heard word of it or seen sign of him, let it keep. Let his history keep. I'll remember that. Then there is nothing more to be done. The Mojave awaits. All right. Thanks, Ulysses. It's too bad you won't come with. Maybe we'll see him again. Probably not. He has his own purpose. And I guess he has nowhere else to go. I feel bad for him a bit. I mean, I'm totally willing to be friends with him. Maybe you don't have a place that you feel is home for you. Or a place that you can believe in. But you can always make somewhere like that. At least that's what I think. Let's take the rockets and the extra red glare that I left here. Because now we, we can have them. I may improve this red glare up as well though I can't imagine <laughs> giving it to one of our companions would be a good idea so I walked a bit in that direction just because there were a few things to put on the map there are more but I'm not gonna do that right now I think I will go back to the strip I'd like to go see about continuing with our companions because I want to get their lovely quests done. I want to make as many of them fulfilled, you know, as possible. I am. I don't know that we can do that with all of them, but I'm going to try my best. I'm going to do my best. I have a few ideas. Please don't tell me what to do with them unless I specifically say okay guys I'm at my limit here what do I do with X oh I forgot I forgot about that well we're gonna ignore it <laughs> Victor's looking good <laughs> okay all right let's go up to the presidential suite <laughs> and see what we're gonna do. So I had been hanging out with Cass a bit all Eddie. Memory. Oh. We up? could take him, but I may just hang out with Cass because I don't know how this is all gonna go down. So hey girl, hey. Ready to leave yet? This place puts my teeth on edge. Oh yeah? Why? Aside from the TV-faced robots, the dust, and the old man smell in every room? Nothing. It's a paradise. This place has the old world blues about it. Everything in here feels like it should have passed on a long time ago. Hell, it's hard to believe Vegas is right outside. So, yeah, I'm looking to leave whenever you're ready. <laughs> okay. You're pretty not into it, huh? But, like... It's gotta be better than a shack on the side of the road somewhere, right? Like, maybe it has old man smell and old world blues about it, but it's still gotta be a nicer place than some of the stuff you've seen. I imagine, anyway. Let's travel together. Alright then, let's get the train rolling. Yeah, let's get the train rolling. And I'm actually going to maybe- oh, hi Boone! Hey. <laughs> I'm actually going to try talking with her a bit, because I'm not... Inside the Lucky 38? I'm not sure whether that's a blessing or a curse. Because I'm not totally sold on how I tried to progress her quest. Ask him, then. I don't know if we can do anything about it. We can ask her tons of stuff. But, 
Okay, I, I guess we're stuck. If you remember, we had the option to either agree to kill, you know, Alice McLafferty and the Van Graffs, or we could report them to the NCR, and I want to kill them, frankly, just because I hate John Baptiste, but I don't want to kill Alice McLafferty, necessarily. So I don't know if we can mix results, but I I just kind of want to change it, if possible. Started? Took to it like a fish to water. Well, if you know what a fish is. <laughs> Intelligent 7. I'm familiar. Do you know what a fish is? Well... Of course I do. You don't sound like it. It's this slimy, scaled thing. Like a lake lurk, except no legs. Well, most times. They're like birds, except they stay underwater. Anyway, I've seen pictures. One guy even had one above his bar in Reading, except it was made of pre-war plastic. He used to say it could sing, but I figured he was on a jet rush. <laughs> so you just started caravanning. Actually, it sort of fell on me. My feet get antsy if I stay in one place, like the Mojave Outpost. It was driving me crazy, oh. that feeling of being trapped there. So, thanks for that. You're welcome. I left you there for like a million years. I'm kind of sorry I didn't realize you hated it that much. Yeah. West, east, and pass through places enough times people would sometimes pay me some caps to take something to the next town. Oh, that's kind of cool. You were like a courier. Well, not as glamorous, I guess. Roads back west were safer in most places. Most. Anyway, occurred to me I could scratch the traveling itch and get paid for it. Cassidy caravans formed around me. Rest is history. That's kind of cool. I mean, you could still do that. Ask them then. You know... You don't have to have Cassidy caravans. You can make any new caravan thing. As long as you keep traveling and doing what you want to do, you can make it work. Is whiskey your drink of choice? I mean, obviously. Not sure if I chose it or it chose me. Dad ran a bar a long time ago and it was a labor of love, Mom said. Didn't sound like it made her happy. Still, I'm guessing I got some of Dad's love of whiskey in me because the burn suits me fine. Hmm. Used to call me Whiskey Rose back west, before I punched enough people, so now they say it. But quiet, and when I'm not around. <laughs> yeah, on account of my name. And the blossoms on my cheeks when I drink too much. Won most of those fights, too. Can take a hell of a punch and give it right back when I've got a bottle in me. That's funny. It's all in how you drink it, though. There's a trick to it. When we pass the bottle, I'll show you how it's done. I would prefer to not probably do that. There's usually a bar in every stop along the road. Helps me sleep. Well, not really, but I tell myself that. Uh -huh. Sometimes I have to brew it myself if I'm too far from a bar. What? Not quality, but I'm for anything that takes the edge off the day. You just make moonshine? I mean, that's a fairly involved process. How do you just... How do you... How do you... What? Yeah. What else are you gonna do with an empty bottle? Wait for it to refill itself. Get me some ingredients out of the Mojave, an empty bottle, a little time, and I'll keep us stocked. Okay, that's cool. So it's corn, mute fruit, yeast, fission battery. Oh yes, I remember this this is familiar to me. That's why it's marked off. Uh sure. Alright then. I kind of do have Careful other questions. But, oh, they're sitting together. Are you guys friends now? Are What's the boys up? friends? I love them. Okay. Well. Let's go back out. And I don't know where to go. I really don't. I don't know what I want to go do because I'm just not at all satisfied. with the idea of killing them. I mean, we can. I just, I, I feel like I don't care about them particularly, right? I don't care about the Van Graffs at all. I will 
kill Gloria and John Baptiste in a heartbeat and not feel bad. Alice McLafferty? I mean, I don't like that she asked me to steal information from the Gunrunner's Arsenal. Also, I feel like the Gunrunner's Arsenal can really be a replacement for the Van Graffs or fill that space in the market here. But the caravans have a lot to do with NCR trade, don't they? So I feel like the Crimson Caravan Company stuff should be beholden to the NCR. And I don't know... I don't know. I just don't feel like we should do that ourselves because I don't want to negatively impact the NCR. They're already having a hard enough time. Can you imagine if their supply lines got worse? I mean, have you seen what they're working with? It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. Sure hope you know what you're doing. Mojave's getting tense. I have no idea what I'm doing, my dude. I'm just going to be honest. No clue. Ask him then. <laughs> Okay, um, I, I really want to talk to you about the whole murdering everybody business. Well, I'm not one for soft living, or soft men, let me tell you. I'm guessing neither are you. I, what? The caravan fighting here in the Mojave, it's been downright brutal. The amount of caravan space you reserve for ammo alone. And if it's not raiders, powder gangers, it's NCR tolls. They need to get the money from somewhere, even if it's Vegas bound. Do you mostly deal with the NCR? Anyone wise does. Vegas families pay on time, from what I've heard. Even the Omeritas. The white gloves pay on time, but they're creepy. Oh, come on. Deal with anyone else, though. You're taking a big risk. We can get rid of the creepy ones. We can make them good. Yeah, what about the Legion? The Legion? What about them? <laughs> I don't trade caps or supply anyone who keeps slaves and treats women like Brahmin in those camps of theirs. Good for you. There's some caravans that deal with the Legion, yes. And as much as it pains me to say it, any caravan marked by the Legion is safe as houses. Yeah. They guard their roads, their supply lines. Even fiends would hesitate before going after any trader dealing with Legion. You sound frustrated. I am. If NCR took the same stand and committed patrols to the roads, then I'd think that'd solve a lot of their problems right there. You really think but they, they have they the supplies for that? Caravans get butchered in the Mojave all the time, like mine. And so fucking close to Vegas you could see it from the wall. Yeah. But there must be good parts. Like, come on. NCR tries. It's just that trying doesn't mean a whole lot when you're paying your respects to the dead. And Legion, from what I've heard, they don't do the stop tolls on the roads or in the outposts like some NCR quartermasters do. Yeah, because they just take what they you're want. You're lucky if you turn a profit sometimes if some new officer gets assigned a route, the fees just get worse. Are there any other differences you want to point out to me? Much as I hate the Legion, caravan life would be a hell of a lot easier if they ran the roads. Well, as long as those companies were run by men. And that's the biggest issue I see. And it's a shame. But I think there's people on the NCR side who feel more strongly than I do. What do you mean? Some caravans deal with the Legion now because the security. If towns could get the same protection, a lot more tempting than you'd think. A bunch of people would be willing to side with the Legion to not have to worry about fiends and boomers and powder ganger attacks. It's not hard for some folks to sell freedom when the alternative is worse. Especially if being with NCR is going to get you on a Legion cross. Like a degenerate. Ask him then. Okay, uh, I'm really not seeing anything here that's going to help me. Sounds good to me. So I guess we're committed to our decision. That's so unfortunate. Let's take a look at Heartache by the Number. Yeah, it it's just... It's just these. I, I really... 
I don't know. Let's try going in here because since this is New Vegas related NCR Fucking stuff. Crocker couldn't find his ass if it wasn't on his backside. Okay. Maybe he doesn't have one. Don't judge. <laughs> All right. So I can't imagine she likes hanging out in here too much. But I will try speaking with him. Hello, bud. See, that's why he sits in a chair all the time. It's good to see such an outstanding citizen of the NCR. What can I do for you, my friend? I... Oh my goodness, we could play caravan. No. 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 Oh. Goodbye. I just... Is there anything you'd like to tell the nice man? Pass. Don't get me wrong. NCR needs the help. Sometimes I wish they'd step up more on their own. Not sure saving them helps them in the long run. Well, it's better than not saving them, I think. Ask them, then. Well. None of this is what I want. None of this is getting me anywhere. And I think we already know her opinions on stuff. I... I can ask her what she knows about New Vegas and House. Much as anyone else. Cazador trap. You fly in, the city sucks a pine out of you, then you're out on the street. NCR makes a habit of going there and dumping cash. Only the strip gets fat off it. Couldn't tell you much more than that. Not really one for New Vegas when there's enough dump water bars in the Mojave to last me. Right. And what about House? Not much, and I haven't had occasion to look for anything more than that. I've heard what most people know. He's said to run New Vegas. He runs the robots. But, well, no one's really seen him. Well, except you, that is. <laughs> okay, and NCR? NCR's my country, and I support it. Anyone who says otherwise, I'll feed them my knee. I know which side of the firing line I'm on in the Mojave, just so you know. That's good. There's a butt in there. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think we're on the same page with this, right? Me and you, Cass, I think we I think we're on the same page. Yeah, there is. I'm not some blind flag saluting do as they will NCR lover. They're family. But let me tell you what family means. You criticize. You ever had a brother? Some dumbass younger brother, say, who knocked up the pastor's daughter? can't hold a job and his home away is a jail cell, that's NCR. Their compass is spinning all the time. And they lack direction. They try to put their stake in everything they see. Nobody's dick's that long. Not even Long Dick Johnson, and he had a fucking long dick. Thus the name. Thanks for that. So, NCR tries to hold on to everything. They can't, because it's too big for them to get their arms around. They can't guard the roads. They can't put a line of troops around the Mojave. It's just greed that makes the heads back west even try. And the Mojave is suffering because of it. Aside from the people in the towns, it's the soldiers that suffer for it most. Ever seen NCR troops asked to go after gangs at three to one odds? That bear flag? doesn't make them bulletproof. And when those gangs were caused by NCR in the first place, like the Powder Gangers, Caesar on a crutch. Don't get me started there. I mean, you may not know this, but Caesar actually is kind of on a crutch because he's got medical problems. Look, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't want the Brotherhood or the followers or the Vegas families running the Mojave. All of them are a different kind of fuck up. NCR just has some shaping up to do. Maybe Caesar kicking them in the nuts is a nice wake-up call, is all I'm saying. I just wish Caesar would kick the heads of NCR, not the feet. I've fucked a soldier in my time. They don't need to get fucked by their orders. I wish you didn't talk the way you do. All right, then. Okay! Well, I don't think we're going to be able to change the direction that we're moving in. It seems nothing can stop the momentum, so... That's not great 
for me. It's definitely not my favorite. I really like Hello. the dress. You're looking good. Uh, she looks happy though, so that's that's good. Happy for her being happy. And it's kind of funny because she can't wear like her hat, but like these funny little wings that turn up on the sides. I mean, it kind of looks like a like a cowboy hat, but like metal and a, a bit horrible. Anyway, it's fine. Oh, I just so wish we could do this maybe differently, but we can't. You know what we can do, though? We can return for classic inspiration. We're already over here. I don't see any reason not to do this. Maybe I can speak with her about the people when we actually, like, get close to their residence. I don't know. I'm overthinking it. I'm sure it's fine either way. I, I'm only worried because I feel like it could be bad for the NCR if anything happens to the Crimson Caravans. But also, who's to say that Cass won't take over? Like, she likes caravanning. Maybe we can get rid of the leadership of the Van Graffs and okay. the leadership of the caravans because we already sold her caravan to them. So it's kind of like just giving her back what was already hers. Maybe she can take over and be like a little overlord. I mean, I don't think she'll do that because she's kind of like in our pocket right now as like a, a cute little follower. And I, I don't imagine that she would actually leave to pursue her own interests, but it would make sense for her to do that. So we can hope. Anyway, what's up? Aha, the brave photographer returns. Good to see you. Good to see you too. I have the pictures you wanted. Oh, that's wonderful. Just what I need. Thank you, brave one. Here's some compensation for your work. Thanks, bud. I took all the pictures you wanted. There was something about a reward. He just paid me. You have earned it, my friend. Now I can finally unveil my masterpieces to the world, all thanks to you. Come visit me again sometime. Oh, really? Okay. I'll come visit you sometime. Aha. The brave photographer returns. Good to see you. Oh, bye. Oh, all right. So, um, bye. Bye. No, don't be, don't be sad. I will come back. I, I will see you again. We will be buds. I really want that schematic, but I don't want to. Say something nice, Cass. Or do that weird body language thing. They just had a whole conversation that me and you will never comprehend. Okay, I think they're hey. BFFs now. I think she's making a strategy for when she Hello. takes over the caravans. <laughs> He's gonna do all of her signage for her. Wonderful, I'm glad she's making deals out here in the world. So... I kind of miss the cute police faces, but these military dude faces are neat too. In their own way. I like their stubble. Look at that. Isn't he cute? He looks a little angry though. <laughs> so I'm going to pop us over to the Crimson Caravan. And we'll see what's up with McLafferty. I... I really hope that maybe we can work this out a different way. I just, okay. I feel like snitching to the NCR on them won't actually do anything because the NCR doesn't always Those cons got the hint. Do We've things. shown everyone that these are our new territories. Okay. Uh, sure. Fine. Um, yeah. But, I don't know. So, I, I don't know. Oh, hi. You scared me, fellas. Well, I guess ladies, because you're not fellas. But, anyway. There he goes. There he goes. Hey, buddy. How's it hanging? How you doing? Hey. Hi. Doing well? Hope so. Alright. Oh, there she is. Oh, dude, we could probably just take her out, like, stealth mode. But one last try, please. If someone promised me all the lights of Vegas, I'd consider it, too. 
But I wouldn't say yes until I saw what was behind the curtain. Mr. House is behind the curtain. There's nothing I can... There is no hope. There is no hope for changing her mind or redoing this or doing it differently. They're just gonna... Ah, okay, it's fine. Sounds good to me. It's Bad fine. Guys won't see us. Bad guys won't see us coming. Yeah, I have the hollow rifle equipped right now, but I, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like maybe this is how we should go. And she's like right there, and we just need to do this stealthily before she gets into the place. I should make the quick save like right. No. Oh. No. I know another way we can do this. It's a little bit more risky with everyone running around. But we'll try. Is everyone asleep? Except her, of course. There's not enough beds here for everybody. Oh. Cass. Cass, Cass, Cass. How are we gonna do this? Oh, they're guards. So they're patrolling. Well, I can't imagine Alice is going to be happy to see Cassidy. I don't want to initiate combat that's going to involve all of the lovely caravanners here. Wait, there's a guy in the ladies' barracks. I thought this Our was... guys put the monorail back to work. Is that supposed to be funny? I guess it's not the ladies' barracks because there's dudes in here. I just kind of... I just kind of thought... There was a difference? There's not. Okay, so why are you in the guard barracks, then? Oh boy, here we go. Welcome back. Hi. It's been a pleasure. I, I don't think it has been as much of a pleasure as you think. Cass! Whoa, why are you leaning in all of a sudden? <laughs> why not? Um, you want to make moonshine? I don't have the corn. Like, she can't make it. I'm so frustrated. But okay. Sounds good to me. All right. I'm giving up for real this time. So, what's the best way to deal with this. I feel like we should wait outside and just kind of stealthily quietly try to ambush her when she goes that away. So we're gonna wait a few hours. I assume she goes into work at like 8? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll do one hour at a time, so we hopefully won't miss them. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> okay. Oh my gosh, I'm super nervous right now. This is bad, isn't it? Wait, they're gonna know. Oh, I need a silenced weapon. Oh. Cast, you got a silenced weapon on ya? Let's deal. No. Okay. She goes into work at 7. So we can ambush her this way. We do need a silenced weapon to do it. Unless we can get to her while she is asleep. Because if we can get to her while she's asleep, it's easy. Oh my gosh, maybe it'll be easy in here. I hear the cons won't trouble us anymore. Okay, whoa, your hair color is blue. Hello. Hello there. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company. How can I help you today? Hi, Dawn. Your hair is very blue. 
You know, hiring isn't really my department. You should talk to Miss McLafferty about work for hire. Okay. See ya. All right. Again, we need a silence weapon. Okay. Off we go then. Back to the 38, I guess. I mean, I have tons of silenced weapons. Or I could just buy a silencer for a different weapon. You know what? Maybe we should go to the Gunrunner's Arsenal instead. And see what kind of silencers they've got. Maybe they've got a silencer for a weapon that I would prefer to use. Oh, hello, dude. Hi, cutie. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Probably. I am ready to process our transaction. That is good. So what do you have? You have suppressors. You have extended magazines. Ooh. Might be fun. Nails for baseball bats. Ooh. <gasps> Decreases the weight of a fat man. I'm in it. What else do we have? I just probably need a silencer. Not for the varmint rifle, you silly. Did I miss any? Any others? Oh, maybe I should have just gone home. Wait! Hmm. I mean, maybe. And I think I have... 45 at home! Oh, goodness. Okay. This is not... None of this at all is going the way I had envisioned. You know what? Let's just... Let's just buy one. Why not? Ooh. So we can do pistol or we can do automatic submachine gun. I'm going to go for... This, well, no, this one does have more damage per shot. No, it doesn't. I'm dumb. This one has four more damage. Hopefully that'll work out. Okay. Okay. Alright, give me some hollow points. There we go. And in return... Like, do I want to sell some stuff? You know what? No. No. I'm already, like, wasting plenty of my time. We're making this exchange. We're leaving. And we're making him make a very cursed sound because I cut off his dialogue, so all he said was... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that. Okay, let's mod it with the silencer. I mean... Is that really going to do it for us? It is. Alright. Put this away, because nobody wants to see us wielding this when we walk back in. So tempted to talk to Cass again and try to change her mind, even though there's legitimately no way to do that and absolutely no dialogue for it. Let's hear it. You look all serious. Are you sure you want to do this? Cutting off your dialogue, just like Mr. Robot. I'm so mean. Okay. Alright. I mean, guys, we gotta do what we gotta do, okay? I heard the Legion's planning to unleash their best men against us. Don't worry about Leglan. He's fine. I'll deal with Leglan when we get around to it eventually. Probably, I hope. Okay. So, we need that guy. 
to be maybe not around. That is like the opposite of where he should be. There's a guard. Oh, okay. I think again. I did get the hollow points, didn't I? Don't tell me that I'm so dumb. Wait. Yes, hollow point. I got the wrong ones. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back over here to our hidey place again. Another quick save, now that we have an appropriate weapon for this. I was just gonna snipe, and then I was like, oh, wait a minute, that's not silence. Everybody's gonna hear that. I, I think I might have a silenced sniper rifle. But I do. I have Christine's silenced sniper rifle. What am I doing with this? My best. That's the answer. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to chill until she gets off work. I don't know when that would be. Maybe seven? I mean, it seemed fairly late last time. There comes a guard, but that could just be a shift change. Okay. If we could also manage to sneak into the barracks while McLafferty was asleep. We could benefit from that, maybe. Okay, one more hour. And they should all be moving. I'm expecting her any minute now. I should just go get Christine's rifle. But I don't get to use the Gunrunner's Arsenal people as much as I want to. Is she seriously still at work? It is 9pm. Let's wait until 10. Okay, here they come. Glad she, I left she the coming out? behind. Girl, I do not have time for that right now. I'm trying to assassinate someone on your behalf. I'm gonna make another quick save because it looks like everybody except McLafferty is going to the barracks. So what does that mean? Does that mean she is alone? In her office? No. Oh, there she is. Oh, gosh darn it. There's a guard right there. I just need to be hidden. Oh, please. I need to be hidden. Anything to be hidden right now. I'm not hidden. I'm detected. Oh my gosh. No. Like, why would you? Okay, let's see if she's asleep. This is absolutely absurd. By the way. <gasps> she's asleep and there's no other guards in here yet. Okay. Keeping quiet. Good. Keep quiet. Alright. No one will know. No one will notice. There you go. Are you happy, Cass? Does this make you happy? So she has a few things. Oh, a safe key? Yeah, let's go open that safe then. And that's it for the Crimson Caravan. Now, Girl! on to settle accounts with Gloria Van Graaff. We're incognito right now! Her down would suit me just fine. Let's not Might talk be a here! a tougher than the Crimson Caravan. Van Graaffs are like a nest of rattlers. Everyone can hear you! And the guns they've got are Brotherhood caliber. We're gonna be fine. Are you sure you want to do this? Wait a minute. How come I can only ask you this now? Oh, I'm sure. Killing never felt so good. You didn't do any of it! the dead behind me oh. guiding my hand. <laughs> now that that bitch is in hell, they'll have a shot at her too. Okay. So what are we waiting for? We've got more work to do. Okay, fine. Music to my ears. Okay, I, I guess at least we're making her happy. I don't know. I mean, I didn't hate Alice, and I mean, I, I get it. She's doing the same shady stuff, but I, this is not, this is not good. Cass, this is not good. You look so happy. Oh, 
Yes. Why? Uh, whatever. Whatever even. It's cool. It's fine. How's it going, boys? This talk is someone going into the Lucky 38 to talk to Mr. House. That's bullshit. No, Everyone it knows Mr. House doesn't talk to anyone. I mean, it was me. I did, I did that. You're looking very pale today. Don't bite your nails. You're looking very pale. Huh. You think standing out here... Pick up some sun. Maybe not. Alright. Into Freeside. Onward to the Van Graffs. It's been a while since we've been here, so I'm kind of imagining... Yes! That we would get a gift. Here he comes. Hello. Gimme, 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 gimme. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? Yes, sir. The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Aw, oh, thank ya. Thank ya. You know what? Maybe we should get... Christine's rifle. To sell, people. Only at I can't imagine that this dinky little pistol is gonna get us through to the silver rest. I should have traveled to that gate instead. Wanna get lucky? Head on down to the atomic wrangler. Okay, maybe we Laser will go back to the thirty-eight the then. We're gonna get this done though. I'm not stopping until we've reached the end, right? I just, I just so wish, oh, that I had approached this differently. Yeah, do you like it? Do you enjoy? Oh, okay, well, I mean, you don't have to be rude. I'm trying to give you a nice present, jeez. Boone would never respond like that to a gift. Ugh. I miss him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just Oh, hi guys. Serving us. I could try to get them with it. So how how well does this do? I mean, that appeared to be very effective. I do think that was me and not her. I mean, it is hollow point. So maybe maybe I don't know. We can get hollow points for the sniper rifle. And I'm also still carrying the arc welder. I'm not sure if you noticed, but I was like, oh, maybe I'll use that. Maybe I'll have fun with that thing. I mean, we still can. I just haven't. You know? Oh boy. Back upstairs. I cannot imagine that this is going to go over very well. Like, the Van Graffs? Really? I really do hope that she takes over. I mean, she seems like she might. She's not really the stay in place and, you know, supervise kind of person. Wait, it's not going to be in here. This is extra stuff. It's going to be in here. This is special things. So there's that. And then we need ammunition. This is my ammo stash. Feast your eyes on the prize. I have all of this. Not as many mini nukes as I would like. And you know what? I, I do have that mod, so perhaps I should take a fat man and make it lightweight. But I'm, I'm not going not gonna to do that right now. Especially not whenever we're probably going to want to loot the Van Graff's place. So again, I will take hollow point for this task. I don't think that we need any wide variety in ammunition. So, we will go. I wonder if the Omertas have forgotten about me yet. <laughs> Might have done uh, an oopsie or two in there, but I mean, it happens. Just ask the great cons. Thank you for visiting New Vegas. They, they know what's up. They do. Happens to the best of us, right? So, I don't know the 
most efficient way to deal with the Van Graffs, but I think having Christine's rifle will make it a lot better for us because I'm under the impression that they never sleep. So I don't know that we can get on them like we did with Alice, unfortunately. And then there's this guy who's been nothing but polite to me. I'm sorry. Hey. Sorry, buddy. So he's going to take our weapons. What were we able to hold out with? He didn't take our weapons. Okay. You've got some crazy underbite, my guy. <laughs> Look at all of these. Beautiful. Okay. So, I don't know the best way to go about doing this. Can you stay out of combat somehow? Like, I can tell her to use melee. Now we're talking. Guess it's leftovers for me. Yes. Just... Maybe... I don't know, girl. I feel like I shouldn't have even brought her in here. I feel like she's not gonna... be helpful, but... Whatever. Okay, cool. So no one cares. This is easy and no one cares, no problem. The guy is still saying guh after he's dead for like a while. I don't like when they pop, but I understand why they do. And this is easy. Really? Alright, so... Bye! Oh, I've kind of wanted to do that for a long time. And you... There Just you go. Just trim the Van Graaff family tree. I think Freeside will breathe a little easier now. Do you think so? Payback's a bitch, ladies. And between Gloria and Alice, that settles accounts as far as I'm concerned. Are you happy? Hope they're in hell right now. Blinking, trying to figure out where they fucked up. <laughs> okay, are, are you alright? You seem kind of mad, like, particularly. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I am. Never realized I had all that anger in me. I mean, I did. Makes me wonder how much more I can settle with bullets. Not a lot. You know, when I first heard about them, I was so mad. But there was this little part of me that said, you can't do to them what they did to you. I say fuck that part. I feel purified. And I love the fact that there's no more loose ends. Well, okay. That's it. Except for one thing. Thanks. You're Not welcome. many people in my company would have done what you did for me without some hesitation or asking me to cool down. I mean, but I hesitated me. a lot. Even when the odds were against us. Words aren't enough, but thanks. I think I would have done this differently if I had the option to. Don't have to tell me twice. Feel more alive than I ever have. That's not what I'm saying at all. Anyway, we have gained the Hand of Vengeance perk, which gives Cass more bonus damage with guns. Bad guys won't see us coming. I kind of want to get rid of the one remaining guard, but also I'm not going to because we don't need to. He's just living his life. He's doing his best. How could you let this happen? Is he upset? He seems confused. Well, that's fine. There's lots of goodies in here. We can play around. We can, you know, take some stuff. I'm really just going to check Gloria for the key first. What about you? Also has the same key. Kind of cool. I still feel bad about this guy. But I guess in some weird way he's gotten his Revenge, kind of? Is that dude gonna see me or care about what I'm doing? Probably not. Either way! It is handled. Do they have anything, like, very major? I mean, they've got, like, stuff. I'm sure they got more stuff. They have a computer that may be interesting to us. And it's, like, 
2 a.m. If they were not up asleep, they never were going to be. What happens if we try to get into this? Password is irradiated. That's kind of funny. Oh. That's for the safe. Okay, never mind. Is there anything spectacular upstairs, like dead bodies? Or something? You know what? If this is all going to be locked up, we're just going to look at this next time. How does that sound? Look at that room. That's all you get. That's your teaser. That's your teaser trailer. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'll see you guys very soon. We'll ransack this place as Cass wants. So, see you friends. Bye!